In this video, we are going to take you through processing a work order from start to finish for a demand service call. In other videos, we cover each element in more detail. The idea behind this video is to take you through the process from start to finish so you can see the whole thing in action. Let's grab a work order. Click on the work order tab, select our next order, double click. We are in route. We're driving to the service call. That creates a timesheet entry in Total Office Manager. When we get there and we're ready to begin working, just before our introduction, we'll click Working. That closes the first timesheet entry for travel, begins a new timesheet entry for the actual work, billable time. We figure out what's wrong. We have to replace a condensing unit fan motor. We're going to go to Items, Add an Item, we're going to first put in a diagnostic fee. The office could do that for us to save us the trouble. Search for the diagnostic fee. You might want to add a few more letters here to narrow it down. There's our diagnostic fee. I should have remembered the part number. Diagnostic fee, res, regular. Diagnostic fee, residential, regular. Now I'm going to add... A flat rate task, which I do have memorized because it's so common, a fan motor, condensing fan motor, and that would be this one here. We'll click the Add button. Now we've added those items to the work order. We'll go back to the work order. Now we should add a description. We'll go to Notes, and the description is already added, but I want to show you how it was put in there. You'll see a description for the condensing unit motor replacement and cleaning the coil. Let's click Add Description, and we have a database of descriptions, an entire searchable list of pre-written descriptions that your company can create and maintain. You search for the description that you want, select it. You can select many. Click Add. If you want to edit those notes, click your hamburger menu, click Edit, go into those notes. Let's make that a little larger. Hopefully you saw how I did that. I'm going to highlight those and get rid of them and click Save. Now we're ready to make our presentation. We approach the client, tell them what is wrong with their system, what are the absolute required repairs today to get their system running. We can do this by clicking Print Preview and going over the repair options. If your company sells service agreements, and I sure hope you do, you want to talk about their missed savings opportunity. In this case, they could have saved $78.01. Otherwise, their total investment is $520.05. Now, once they approve the work, we do the work and we add additional repairs and go over those with the client if necessary. Once we're finished with the work, we are then going to create an invoice. It asks, are you sure? Now, it, it has two options here. First of all, are you sure you want to create an invoice? Yes, I'm sure. It asks you if you're sure all the time. Do you want to mark the work order as completed? Don't mark it as completed, or at least I don't recommend it. We'll do that at the very end. Do you want to include the items? Almost certainly you do. Click yes. Now, in about five seconds, it's going to take that work order, your items, your notes, everything, and create an invoice. And you probably don't need to edit this invoice in any way. But you will need to take a payment. Hopefully, you can take a payment. You might have to leave, and we send them an invoice later. But hopefully, you can collect. Let's pretend like you can. You can take a credit card with credit card processing connected. That's automated. You click this, scan the card. I'm going to take a payment manually. We will pretend as if it is cash. And they're going to pay us $100 in cash. And I will click Add. 
What about the balance, you're asking? Let's go back to take a payment and check. Check number. Notice it knows how much. Click add. Wanted to show you how you could take multiple payments. You can take as many as you want to. Now, this invoice is paid. Your last step would be to get a final signature, ask them to sign it, and type in their name. Click Submit. Signature's captured. Now, you probably want to send the invoice via email. You can send an HTML email, but we recommend you send a PDF email. The HTML emails can get messed up. The formatting can get messed up. So you probably want to send an email with this invoice attached as a PDF. And that's it. You're finished. At this point, you would go back to your home page and back to your work orders and start the process all over again. But you might have noticed up here, open work order. We have to deal with that first. We will not be allowed to take another work order until we close this work order. Easy. This is a hyperlink. Just click on it. It'll take you into the work order. Click the stop button. Notice it says complete work order. Yes, you do. Now you're ready to go back to the home page and begin the process over again. And that's it. If you haven't watched those other videos on managing each aspect of the work order, please do so. And I'll see you in the next video.